Okay, so let's let's try to deal with uh, the Mars. This is what I said about the Mars, right? You can pierce through uh, that shield of his. This is going to be a really interesting setup because I haven't tried this out before and I can definitely see the spike, the stake and the needle being the perfect weapons for the Skyros. Now, um, the thing with the Skyros is you want kind of close range weapons, but you also want uh, fast reload and, uh, you know, weapons that have like high burst damage. Now, I wouldn't say these have like high burst damage, but they definitely have a really good reload. Uh, they are close range and also, uh, if you caught that, it can also penetrate, uh, you know, enemy energy shields. So if you have like, um, say a Mars, for example, you know, with the Aegis shield, uh, these weapons can actually pierce right through it. Okay, so that makes it very deadly at close range. So I'm wondering, you know, how is this going to uh, kind of play out here? Because I have not tested this out. A couple of you have asked me to... Uh, run it. Um, I have nuclear amplifier on here, uh, two immune amplifiers, advanced repair, the Kestrel drone. So just giving you a kind of a breakdown here of this drone. So, you know, once I kill a player, I get more speed. And uh, also we have a close range death mark uh, thing on here too. Okay, let's just go back here. Let's take a look at the uh, pilot skills as well. And uh, what I plan on doing, we're going to run a game and then afterwards extra gameplay footage of this build in action and also my thoughts on whether I would actually run a build like this. Okay, so we've just dropped in on Abyss map and I have started with the Skyros first. So we're gonna get some beacons here. Uh, okay, so we have a Hellburner. This should be kind of interesting actually. I wonder who's gonna win this engagement. Yikes! So one of the things... Oh, you know what? He had the Reviver drone on there. That's interesting. I kind of won that engagement, but keep in mind, you know, I had my teammates to kind of help out as well. Okay, so we are dealing with a, uh, a Lynx. Let's try to take this guy out. Hmm, I actually really like uh, what I'm seeing so far. I'm trying to see if I can maybe uh, get that guy there. Oh, he just... Huh? Wait. Oh, he, you know what? I think he destroyed his bot so that he could protect that beacon. That's what happened. Okay, so what are we at here in terms of damage stacks? We might see someone teleport here because there is an Imugi uh, portal. Uh, but I will get this beacon. And uh, let's push another beacon here. My Skyros is moving <laughs> very fast. I think it has to do with the uh, the Kestrel too. Okay, so let's, let's try to deal with uh, the Mars. This is what I said about the Mars, right? You can pierce through uh, that shield of his. Definitely very effective. You know what? I would say this is stronger than the uh, the Sonic build. Because if you're dealing with something like a Mars, uh, you have to knock their shield down. This one, you don't have to. I'm just waiting for this guy to get out of that ability there. Ooh, that's very tough. There we go. We got him. Nice. Pretty much a counter to the Lynx. Okay, so his, uh, his beak just triggered. You're gonna do this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yikes! Oh my gosh, I have to get out of here. There's just too many of them. I'm actually more scared of that, that, uh, the titan of this. Okay, let, let's get this beacon here first, and then we'll try to deal with that Fenrir. Yeah, he's just gonna march this way. Okay, let, let's try to, let's try to do this. This is where I kind of wish I had sonic weapons, but we're doing decent damage to him. Yeah, you know what? I think for this particular bot, the Skyros, I think these weapons are the perfect combo for it. You know, based on what I'm seeing here, I could get out of there. Yikes! Oh my gosh. 
I have to be very careful. They have an Indra with the uh, those weapons. Let's try to get this guy. Brutal. Let's go for this beacon over here. Ooh, you know what? I can probably target... Uh, let's target this guy here. Try to help out. Titan Slayer! They have a Skyros of their own. Uh-oh. I need to get rid of this... Um, this Fenrir, if I can. Triple kill! Man, I'm running some mad beacons here. They have a... <laughs> they have a Sky Rose on that end. And I'm using my Paladin to kind of get my health back up again. We need to deal with this uh, this Indra. This guy is a problem. He's a very big problem. Let's do that. Oh man, they have a Skyros here too. We need to get rid of this guy. He... Can I get him? He's pretty close to dying. There we go. Nice. I'll let my uh, teammates kind of deal with this one here. I need to run beacons quick. I don't even know how many beacons I've captured right now, but I know it's a lot. Okay, so they have an Imugi portal on that side. We're going to get this beacon, and then I'm going to go to their home beacon back there. We're going to try to rotate and try to get as many beacons here as possible. This might actually end up being the most amount of beacons I've captured in the game. It very well could be. Total chaos on that end. This Imugi is going to land here soon. I don't think he realizes I'm right here by him. He realizes now. We got to get him all the way down to that last stand quickly. Last stand has been triggered. We got the, we got that, that back beacon of theirs. Or at least their home beacon. I'm going to go through the uh, teleport here. Let's do this. Oh, they have a they have a Sirius. I'm just trying to kind of basically equalize the beacon bar here. Okay, so we have this. Uh, I think that's a Sirius that is hitting me. Now let's get this beacon here. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's hitting me right now, but he was doing a decent amount of damage. We need to get out of this mode. Let's try to deal with this guy here. There we go. The angler, maybe. The angler's gonna give us this beacon because he's in that mode. Yeah, let's try to deal with him now. Ah, oh, come on. Man, this game's actually pretty close. Technically speaking, we are losing based on the beacon bar. And now we're losing another beacon. I have to just keep on running beacons here. I think that's the only way. When he starts taking damage, I think he's going to go into the uh, ability mode, right? Oh my gosh, this guy's doing a lot of damage to me. I think that's a titan. What is that? It is. He's got the blinding weapon, but I figured, you know what? If I can maybe hold down this beacon, perhaps... Uh, we might be able to equalize things. I'm gonna do that. I should be able to see this guy here. I need to take out this... Um, this angler. Okay, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna push for this beacon here. Oh my gosh! We have run like 10 rounds here of this, uh, this map. I need to help my teammates with some of these guys here. Yeah, this guy's pretty low. There we go. Titan Slayer. Maybe this one too.
Ooh. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay, we're going to move this way. What we're trying to do is drive their beacon bar all the way down. Man, this game's getting very intense. And I'm doing this all with the Skyros. How many, how many beacons have I captured? Okay, we have a five cap. Come on, come on. We got to deal with this guy here. There we go. Oh my gosh. This build, this build is crazy. Oh, hi. So the, the thing is, do you notice like with the Sonic, he has to knock my, uh, my Aegis shield down. He's going to use his ability. He has to. If he doesn't, he's not going to have much of an angle left. Oh my gosh. This build is crazy good. So I would say yes. This is definitely the perfect setup for the Skyros right now. I would say it's the best setup because I've tried. Take a look at, oh my gosh, 18 beacons. Are you kidding me? Guys, I've never captured so many beacons before in a single game. That is absolutely crazy. If I can take out that behemoth, then we don't have to worry about their range. Okay, there we go. We got him. This guy's going to use his ability. I'm going to use ball mode. Just so I have that resistance. We're going to activate that and try to take out this Mars. Because remember, we shoot through their shields, right? Loving the reload of these weapons too. That guy's shield's gone. I'm going to go into ball mode just so that we can hold this down. They have a lot of players back here. They're all moving to the side. Oh my gosh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to heal. Heal! Woo! Guys, I need some help back here. <laughs> Run! <laughs> I'm going to bring them all the way over to this side. My teammates are backing up. That's funny. Okay, hold on. We have a we have a scorpion here. He's almost dead though. You're gonna go straight for that scorpion and take the scorpion out. There we go. And maybe this guy too. Rampage. Man, I need I need a heal here on my uh, paladin. I need to get some of that health back. Let's go for the uh, the invader. This is the perfect one. 92, 95. There we go. Godlike, I'm going to move back over here. We're going to replenish some of our health. You guys see my health uh, go back up. There we go. I guess that's one of the uh, benefits of using the Paladin. Um, especially for the Skyros build. It's so effective. Okay, we're going to make another push here. Um, we have a Scorpion. He's going to use his... Um, his teleport, right? You better use it. Let's take out that guy. We're gonna bump our health back up again. I'm gonna move over to the side. Maybe try to take out, uh, you know, some of these players back here. Let's go for uh, the shell. Triple kill. Ooh. That guy put down his Mars turret. I have to be careful of that turret. So what I've done was I've isolated him from the turret and he doesn't have his turret to defend. This is why I always tell players you got to be careful when you, uh, you know, throw your turret down because, you know, if the enemy does that, you don't have that extra firepower. Ooh, we can shoot through his shield. There we go. Let's deal with this guy next. Oh my gosh. Look at what kind of damage I'm doing to this mirror mitts. I'm probably going to end up dying here though. Okay. We're going to go for these uh, players here in our 
uh, back spawn area. We both gonna engage. He's down to his last stand. Trying to get this guy down to his last stand as well. Last stand on him. And this guy too. Almost. Almost. He's dead. We just took out two Skyros with this. That is crazy. But they shouldn't have gone into attack mode.